Hey there, and welcome to this video about how we connect Xdebug with Visual Studio Code. So in the previous video, we installed Xdebug and we made sure that it was set up and everything, and we have configured it to use the step debugger. And we can also uh, instruct it to use other features that uh, is in Xdebug. But the step debugger is a good one to start with, where we can step through our code and inspect the state of the program. But again, uh, I encourage you to read the documentation for how it works and the different features that you can make use of in this uh, extension for PHP. So we have Xdebug installed for uh, PHP and XAMPP. And we can see here, we open up Visual Studio Code. I have a small PHP program with a really simple code in here. We have uh, a variable that we echo out, then we have a for loop uh, that we basically run through that echoes out 0 to 5 or 4. So it will look like this if we show the program. Let's just zoom a bit here. So fun with PHP next debug, and we have the loop there. So uh, how can we make use of the debugger in this small PHP program? And of course, I know this might be easy to to overview, it might be really easy to see we have the error right here, but you probably have a larger system with multiple files and you have dependencies between them and everything. And then you can really use the debugging tools to uh, to find your bugs fast. Okay, so um, what we need to do is first we need to install uh, an extension for Visual Studio Code that will connect to Xdebug and it's called a uh, a debugging adapter. So we go to extensions and then we write PHP debug. And then we can see that we can install a Felix Becker and basically install the program here. Yep, so that is done. And now that we go to the menu item here with the play and the small bug on it, if we click on that, we are presented with this view. We need to make a configuration for how we should debug this. So to customize run and debug, because we haven't done this uh, yet, we can create a launch.json file. And maybe Visual Studio Code need to install extra packages to get these items. And afterwards, you should have a lot of different uh, debugging adapters. And we can see we also have PHP now, because we installed the extension. So we click on PHP, and then we get this launch.json file. And we have one for listen for xdebug. We have launch currently open script. And uh, one thing to note here is that uh, xdebug version 3 are actually using another port than port 9000. So it is important to change this to 9003. It also states that in the documentation for Xdebug that uh, they changed the port number to, uh, to this port. So that is important that you change this. But otherwise, we can see that we can make extra configurations if we want, and we can really customize this to our needs. So if we click Launch, close this one there, and we just uh, view the interface, we can see we now have uh, variables and watch and a call stack and some breakpoints down here. And let's just zoom a little bit out there so we can see what's going on. So now we have uh, these two configurations. We have listen for xdebug and then launch currently open script. So I will take listen for xdebug and then if I hit uh, start debugging, we will get this uh, debugging panel up here where we are able to set breakpoints and much more. So let's say I want to inspect the state of my loop here. Then I can click on line 17 and then I have set a breakpoint. Then we can also see in the very bottom here, index PHP on line 17, we have a breakpoint. So I can set multiple breakpoints in my program now. And when I run the website from my browser. Uh, the xdebug is going to interrupt the program execution and stop at these lines. And we can inspect the program state to see uh, if something is wrong or if it is uh, working. So if we go to our 
uh, website here and we refresh it now we can see that Visual Studio Code will interrupt us and we have now started the debugging process and now it has stopped at the first breakpoint and we all we, we can also see here over here that all the variables uh, have been initialized. We have our text variable that was set to fun with PHP debug. We can see it actually have a value now. And we can also see that the value of i is uninitialized. And the reason for that is we, are, uh, we run the program sequentially and we have not yet come to the part with the for loop. So we have not initialized this loop variable. So we can inspect a lot of things now. We can also inspect the super global. So if we have uh, post request, get request, we can see the, the server, global variable, all these settings uh, in our program at runtime. So if we, uh, you can see up in this panel here, we have different commands. We can go with continue, F5, that will go to the next breakpoint or just continue with the program if we don't have any more breakpoints. We can also go step over F10. That means we're going to just uh, step over the next. We're not going to do more. We also have step into. If we are, if it is a function call that we need to go into the function, then we can do that. And we can also step out if we have been inside of a function and we just want to go out of it again. So if we go with continue. You can see it stops and uh, with the next breakpoint 17 and we can also inspect that now the variable of i has a, a value. Okay and because this is a loop I can click this and we can see how we are going through the iteration phase that we will add one more to our variable so it increases in the values. So, uh, and it goes up to f up to four. So we can see when we hit four, it should jump out. And we don't have any more breakpoints. So now we have our program running. So this is the, the fundamental things about debugging, that we're able to provide breakpoints and we can inspect the state of the program instead of doing echo statements that will clutter up our program. Uh, we can just flexibly make these uh, breakpoints and we can remove them again and then we can use the debugging tool for doing that. All right, I think this is uh, the, the most fundamental right now I want to talk about in this video about uh, debugging. Uh, so we set a couple of breakpoints and we inspected the program state and um, we can see the variables up here. But there is of course much more to debugging than this. Okay, I hope you make this work and have fun with this. Bye-bye.